Okay guys, more and more remote work and home offices are becoming common fixtures in our careers. That's why a wireless router is an essential piece of technology. A new router upgrades your wireless network with faster speeds, a stronger signal, better security and an extended range. I've rounded up the best routers that I think you should consider in 2021. Before we move on, let me know which router you currently own and what is your experience with it. And of course, to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these routers, you can check out the links in the description below. All right, let's get started. We're starting the list with the most versatile router, the Asus AX6000. The Asus RTAX88U is one of the best Wi-Fi 6 routers out there. It comes loaded with advanced features and very capable management software. While all that drives its price up somewhat, it's still the top future-proof router you can buy right now. The RTAX88U utilizes the ASUS WRT interface, the preeminent standard for networking enthusiasts. It has a robust feature set and allows granular control over every setting, including support for VPN client and server, parental controls, port forwarding, personal cloud networking, and guest networking. It is primarily web-based, though it can also be used via an iOS or Android app. The RTAX88U is powered by a 1.8 GHz quad-core processor, 1 GB of RAM, and 256 MB of flash memory. It's a 4 to 4 AX6000 router capable of data rates of 1,148 MB for on the 2.4 GHz band and 4804 MB per second on the 5 GHz band when connected to Wi-Fi 6 clients. In addition to the above-mentioned Wi-Fi 6 technology, it supports 160 MHz channel bandwidth, MU-MIMO simultaneous data streaming, direct-to-client signal beam forming, and Smart Connect, where the router automatically chooses the best radio band and for optimal uh, throughput. You can also turn this router into a powerful VPN server or a VPN client. And there are all other advanced settings you might need to customize your home network to the max. Nevertheless, this superb router is fast, functional, and decisively future-proof. Next up, we have the Asus GTAX 11000 ROG Rapture as the best gaming router. Designed with gamers in mind, the Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 is the Wi-Fi 6 router to get for those who need to fill a large house with Wi-Fi. Sure, the router is big and expensive, but if you have the need for speed, my Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 review proves it should be on your wish list. For power users and gamers, this is one of the best Wi-Fi routers available. One look at the Asus Rapture GTAX 11000 tells you that it means business. Even before you attach the 8 separate antenna, the bulky square router with its sharp angular edges looks like something out of the Battlestar Galactica. It measures 250 mm wide and deep, and with all those antenna poking up into the air, it stands 180 mm high. So, so this is a router that will need plenty of room to get set up properly. The Asus ROG Rapture comes with a reliable processor and platform that perform beyond wireless networking. These also work with USB, VPN, and NAT applications. Additionally, this router delivers the fastest 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz speed rates. When using the 2.4 band, it could reach up to 1148 MB per second. The two 5 GHz band offer up to 4804 MB per second each. Both bands make the Rapture GTAX 11000 faster by 2.5 times compared to an equivalent 802.11 AC. The router also supports ASUS's a mesh technology for mesh networking so you have the option of using it with the with other asus routers to create a more extensive network if you ever move to a larger home or office the rapture router also includes a number of features that are specifically aimed at gaming such as the ability to monitor performance of online servers for your favorite games it's expensive and ASUS could do more to help new users get started, but there's no doubt that the Rapture router provides leading-edge Wi-Fi performance for hardcore gamers. Moving forward, next we have the Netgear Nighthawk AX8 as the best secure router. This winged model from Netgear, which looks like something Batman might use to secure the Batcave's wireless network, sports four antennas for covering large buildings and other areas. Not only is the router capable of fast file transfer speeds to up to 6GB per second, 
but it's also equipped with eight Wi-Fi streams to provide capacity for more than 30 devices to connect at once. On the network security front, it offers VPA2 encryption, DOS attack protection, and double firewall, uh, firewall capability. The RAX80 is powered by a quad-core CPU running at 1.8 GHz, 512 MB of RAM, and 25 MB of flash memory. It's a 4 to 4 AX6000 router that can reach maximum speed of up to 1.2 MB per second on the 2.4 GHz band and 4.8 MB per second on the 5 GHz band. It supports 160 MHz channel bandwidth, beamforming MUMIM mode data streaming, and smart connect band steering. It also supports Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant voice commands. The RAX80 is managed using a web console or the Nighthawk mobile app for iOS and Android devices. The mobile app offers real-time network updates, push notifications, basic Wi-Fi and internet settings, and guest networking settings. The Netgear Nighthawk Air RAX80 offers enhanced security and top performance with the best throughput I've seen so far in a Wi-Fi router. It may be expensive, but the RAX80 is the Wi-Fi 6 router to get. Climbing the ladder, we have the best mesh router, the TP-Link Deco Mesh, which is the Deco M5. Mesh routers aren't exactly new, but until now, they've tended to command the kind of price point that have kept them out of the reach of the majority. TP-Link hopes to change that with the Deco M5, which offers up a mesh system much cheaper than the competition. In case you haven't been keeping tabs on the wonderful world of wireless connectivity, mesh takes the flaky coverage of the traditional single router system and replaces it with better coverage by employing two or three units. In the case of Deco M5 whole home Wi-Fi system, you get three units in the box. The three-piece Deco M5 system provides up to 4,500 square feet of Wi-Fi coverage. Each Deco unit is powered by a quad-core processor and contains four high-power internal antenna. The router is an AC1300 device capable of speeds of up to 400 megabytes per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and 867 megabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz band. It supports beamforming which sends signals directly to wireless clients rather than other uh, over a broad spectrum and multi-user multiple input multiple output MUMIMO data streaming which transmits data to MUMIMO compatible clients simultaneously rather than sequentially. It also uses TP-Link's adaptive routing technology which is ART to select the best possible radio band for optimal throughput and it comes with three years of Trend Micro's antivirus and malware protection. In short, the TP-Link Deco M5 is a worthy entry to the low end of the mesh networking market. Last on the list, best value for the money, we have the TP-Link AC1750, which is the A7. The Archer A7 is a great value overall and has all the basic features and majority of people will actually use and then some that includes gigabit Ethernet, a couple of USB 2.0 ports for basic NAS capabilities, parental controls, guest networks, and a utilitarian web interface. The Black Archer A7 is small enough to be stashed on a table, bookshelf, or hung on a wall with its pair of mounting cutouts underneath. Unlike its more powerful cousin, the TP-Link Archer C2300, the Archer A7 runs cool, never exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. Design-wise, it uses the same glossy black enclosure with three fixed antennas on the back. Inside, the Archer A7 dual-band router is powered by a Qualcomm Atheros QCA9563 Wi-Fi chip with a 750 MHz processor with 128 MB of RAM. There's 16 MB of flash storage for holding the device's settings and firmware. The dual band router has a maximum throughput of 450 megabyte per second for its 2.4 gigahertz band and 1.3 gigabyte per second for its 5 gigahertz band for a total bandwidth of 1.75 gigabyte per second. While this router is pretty standard as far as form and function go, its smart features set it apart. For one, this router has an onboard USB port complete with media sharing features. This isn't an extra you won't see among too many smart routers, especially in this price range. The onboard USB port can be used for secondary storage, sharing media with everyone on the network, or through an FTP server. For a bargain router, TP-Link's Archer A7 does a surprisingly good job 
of moving the bits around the house. All right, guys, we reached the bottom of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this to be very helpful. If so, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions about the products, about the wireless routers we mentioned in this video, then don't hesitate to drop a comment down below and I will get back to you. All right, take care and peace out.